New numbers out reveal an alarming trend among Oregon high school graduates. Many are choosing not to attend college. NBC 5's Laura Cavanaugh is live to tell us how the Beaver State stacks up against the national numbers. Laura. Dan, the National Student Clearinghouse found that Oregon is trailing the nation in high school grads going to college. Just 61% of the class of 2011 enrolled in higher education. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Many say they worry how those statistics bode for Oregon's workforce. After graduating from South Medford High School in 2011, Shana Eaton took some time off from the school grind. I waited a little bit. I wanted to get a job first so I could save up so I didn't have as much student loans. But with the extra cash and a renewed spirit, the 20-year-old jumped eagerly into the college experience. First community college at RCC and soon she plans on attending the University of Oregon. I am so unbelievably excited. College is something that I always aspired to pursue and go on to. Jaina does not appear to be the norm in the Beaver State. The share of Oregon high school grads who enroll in college still remains low. New figures on national enrollment reveal Oregon is faltering, propelling 61% of its high school grads into higher education compared to a 68% national average. So hearing that as a future educator, it just kind of makes me really sad. At Medford's Job Council, specialists say they've witnessed the trend of recent grads opting out of higher education for a variety of reasons. We see a lot of the um, high school students coming straight in to get the job, especially with this economy. A lot of them don't would like to go to college, but they really need to feed their family. In all, 14,000 students did not attempt to go to college from Oregon's class of 2011. The Oregon Employment Department says those young people will likely be stuck working jobs in sales, security, and restaurant service. And those jobs generally pay less than $10 an hour. The data also shows that in Oregon, young men and Latino students are particularly prone to forego college. People like Bill Hawley. I was an A-plus student but I got a job for $12.50 an hour and I just knew I was gonna be rich. So I quit and, and I wish I didn't. Once an expert plasterer by trade, now a part-time lifeguard looking for work. Still for others like Jonathan Warwick, who works as a caregiver, he says getting a degree is not always a necessity. It wasn't for him. There are some technical careers out there that require that degree. Whereas with the type of work I'm looking at, don't need it. But for the University of Oregon bound Shana Eaton, she can't imagine life without that opportunity. When you go to college, imagine the possibilities that you can take on. Imagine how much your life can improve by just going that step further. Well, two years ago, Oregon adopted a formal goal of getting 80% of its young people to earn college credentials. The Oregon School District serving the wealthiest neighborhood, the Riverdale School District, sent 86% of its grads to college. Meanwhile, the vast majority of school districts have a long way to go when it comes to students going directly to college after high school. Just over half of South Medford grads did so, and at Eagle Point, it's at 43%. Live in studio, Laura Cavanaugh, NBC5 News.